hello my mermaids and welcome back to another video today i'm showing you how i'm taking this old two-year-old wig it's high yellow it has been dyed um, it has black dye in the top at the top of the hair just to blend the yellow it has makeup in it different color makeups in it it hasn't been washed in a really long time and um, i'm just going to take to strip this yellow out of it and I'm going to watercolor it. I don't know, maybe like a red or something. I haven't decided what color I want to do yet, but I love this wig. It's a very good quality wig. And so instead of throwing your wigs away or just putting more color in it, you can strip the color out. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So what you're going to need is some Dawn uh, dishwashing liquid, any type of dishwashing liquid, it doesn't matter. You're also going to need some kind of shampoo. I'm using Cream of Nature shampoo and i'm also using some baking soda you can get all of this from the dollar store it doesn't have to be expensive and i'm using a paddle brush and i'm using a this is actually a foot massage uh well a foot soaker um type of container or whatever so i'm putting some boiling hot water into my container i'm adding this is i'm not using any specific measurements i'm just adding the dishwashing liquid I'm adding the shampoo, the Cream of Nature shampoo, and I'm also going to add the baking soda. Just a good amount of everything. Um, again, I'm not measuring anything. You're gonna put the baking soda in, let it, let it sizzle, let it do what it does. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the wig in. I'm mixing everything up. Mix, mix, mix. This stuff is really, really hot, so please be careful, you guys. And I am just going to submerge my wig into this mixture, you guys. This removes this color like magic. It is not going to damage the hair. It's actually going to restore the hair because, as you can see, the ends were just raggedy. It hasn't been washed in so long. So this is also, not only is it removing the color out of the hair, but it is restoring it, getting it soft again, and um, cleaning the wig as well. So I'm just dipping it, dipping it, dipping it, and I'm also gonna just let this sit for about 20 minutes, but I'm gonna keep dipping it, checking on it, dipping it, and letting it just do what it does. This is just, it's amazing how science is. It really is. Science is truly amazing because I, I had no idea that I could do this. And I'm so grateful because I was throwing my wigs away, you guys. So I'm just dipping. And I'm going to just keep dipping it. And it immediately starts removing um, the color. So I'm going to let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to check on it. I keep checking on it every so often just to see how it's doing. But it's not damaging the hair. This is naturally removing the color out of the hair. It's not damaging it. Um, cause some people use chemicals to remove a color, like almost, almost like an entire dyeing process again to remove the color. And no, we're not doing any of that. We're using natural products and I'm just dipping that cup in there just so you can see how much of the yellow has come out so far. Now this wig started out blonde, started out blonde, um, and so I just want to get it back to that blonde color, that base color, just so that I can add another color to this. And this is such a game changer because I'm going to be able to continue to use my wigs over and over and over again. I'm going to do this with my green wig and I'm just so grateful. Oh my gosh, like I wish I knew this before I was throwing my wigs away. I can't believe I was throwing my wigs away, you guys. So yes, I'm gonna let that sit for 20 minutes. So that has been about 20 to 30 minutes so far and here how is how it's looking. And I'm just going to go ahead and get another pot ready of hot water. And you can already see that it's just changing. The dye is completely coming out. That color, that yellow is coming out. Please be careful with this, you guys, because it's very hot. So I'm just taking my paddle brush, I'm still dipping it, and as I dip it, I comb it, and it's so easy to comb through it, you guys. I think the baking soda also makes it softer, too, because it was so easy to comb through it. It wasn't tangled up. 
I thought it was going to get tangled up with the hot water and all the different products, but no, it's like butter, like butter. So now I'm just I wrung the hair out and now I'm just going to dip it again, doing the same thing. So for a second round, you guys, I am adding some more baking powder on here, baking soda on the hair this time. I'm getting it all over the hair. And I'm just making sure that it's all throughout the hair. And I'm just gonna lay it down. I'm adding more hot water, boiling water. Add more boiling water to that. I'm adding more of the soap, the dishwashing liquid. And I'm adding more of the shampoo. And I'm adding more of the baking soda as well. You guys, I'm literally just blown away how this just works so easily. Uh, you, you know how many hairstyles you can do, you guys? So many different hairstyles. I would even do this if my wig was getting raggedy and just it just needed some serious TLC. I would definitely use this method as well, even if it just had nothing to do with dyeing the hair or coloring the hair or removing the hair. I would definitely do the hot water method with the shampoo just to really detangle it and it just works so well you guys so i'm just mixing that in i'm gonna let this sit for another 30 minutes and i'm gonna come back and show you guys literally the color is completely stripped out like and it's not damaged the hair is not damaged i just cannot i'm just wow you guys i'm just blown away Look at this, you guys. Mind you, this wig started out as just blonde. Like, it was a blonde wig. And you can see that it has the, the it's been removed. It has been completely removed. Um, it's definitely still a little bit in there, but I'm going to go ahead and wash it. You can see how light the color has gotten. It's more of a, a higher yellow now than it was before. And you can just really see, like, at the top that it is completely gone that yellow is completely gone so I'm just gonna keep dipping it dipping it dipping it now I'm just dipping it with wet regular hot water this is regular hot water, you guys, that I'm using. Just cleaning the wig. I'm rinsing it and getting all those suds and bubbles out. Wow. You guys, do y'all see this? This is amazing. I cannot, I'm just like, wow. And this is a natural way of removing color out of your wigs. If you have any form of color in your wigs and you wanna change the color, you wanna do another watercolor over top of it, this is so easy. It doesn't take long. It's not harsh chemicals. Your nose is not gonna be burning up from the fumes or anything like that. It just, it's so simple. So, so simple. I'm so excited about this, you guys. And I'm showing you here that it's just pretty much gone. And then what I did off camera, you guys, is I washed it again. And here it is, you guys. Look at that. 
This is the beginning stage of what the wig was before there was any color on it. This is the beginning stage of it. There is no more yellow in it. It is blonde. Everything has been removed. And now I can start from scratch and get a whole nother color on this. And I can keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. This hair is really good quality. Um, as you can see, the ends are not scraggly anymore. You can actually see how long the wig actually is. And it's just such good quality. It's beautiful, it's detangled. It's just amazing, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. So yes, you guys try this out. Let me know how it works out for you. And um, you are gonna be blown away and shocked by how easy this is, as I was. Look at that, you got a whole new wig now, gorgeous. So I love you guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy, bye-bye.